Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Game. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe we have tried so let's start. Now, what is the major product of these reactions? So this is actually a hemiketal. It's step wise, first step with Grignard reagent, second step with this anolate, third step is workup. What is the major product of this reaction? So before going to the details, let's learn a little bit about first this hemiketal and second thing this anolate. That will help you to understand the mechanism better. Now if you look at this hemiketal, this is hemiketal. So here actually if you start, this is a cyclopropanone and if you react it with two molecules of ethanol, this is the product. When first molecule of ethanol undergo nucleophilic addition to this carbonyl carbon, it produces this hemiketal. So you may consider this hydrogen goes to oxygen and this OET attached to the carbon atom. So this is. Now OH, this is hemiketal. And second step, if you put another molecules of ethanol through removal of one molecule of water, it produces ketal. So this is the thing. Now if you look at this hemiketal, this is nothing but it is a hydroxy or alcohol and this part is ether and ketals are actually completely ether. So that's why this hemiketal or hemiacetal, if you take aldehyde then product will be hemiacetal, could be hydrolyzed by both acidic and basic condition. Why? So if you give acid, so this ether can react and hydrolysis is possible. If you give base, so base can abstract this proton and further reaction possible. But if you look at this ketal or acetal, so that could be hydrolyzed only in presence of acidic or Lewis acidic condition. Why? Because there is no proton, no basic site. So this oxygen lone pair can participate or react with the H plus or Lewis acid means coordinate and start the reaction. So this is the basic chemistry. And second point about reactivity of enolates. In the second step, it was given as a reagent. Now, if you look at this is an enolate, this is a lithium enolate or lithium salt of enolate. By the way, if you look at this part, this part is called enol because this double bond is in, OH is all. So, in plus all is equal to enol. Now, if you remove one proton from this enol, it produces this enolate like carboxylic acid to carboxylate, an ionic part. So, this is enolate. And this enolate can undergo a resonance, means this can push its electron density here, it can come here. So in the next canonical form, the negative charge is on carbon atom and the double bond with the oxygen. So now these alpha negative charge containing carbon is actually nucleophilic in nature. Okay, so it can act as a nucleophile and here if you can ask that sir, this O- minus can also act as nucleophile. I agree, but it is not a good nucleophile because oxygen is harder in nature but carbon is softer in nature that's why carbon is a better nucleophile where oxygen is a stronger base so next if you want to have nucleophilic substitution this carbon center act as a better nucleophile so this is the understanding now let's go to the mechanism so if you look at this methyl magnesium bromide or this grignard reagent means in this case there is a carbon magnesium bond this magnesium is less electronegative, means carbon is more electronegative. So you can understand the polarization of this carbon magnesium bond. This carbon is little extra charge, means because of the electronegative difference, carbon will have some extra electron density. By the way, you can expect that, okay, fine. Is it stable? Actually, no. Because carbon is not a very high electronegative atom. It is true that magnesium is electropositive atom, but carbon is not that much high. So that's why this negative charge on carbon is not that much stable. So I guess you understand, I'm taking methyl magnesium bromide. This bromide also has delta negative, but it is not acting as a nucleophile. Why? Because the negative charge on more electronegative atom bromine is stable, whereas the negative charge on this carbon atom is not stable. So now what it does, now if you look at this OH bond, so because of the electronegative difference between oxygen and hydrogen, this hydrogen is delta positive, means you can say pro polar bond. So this H plus can react with the methyl minus and here what it can produce, it can produce a methane. So you can expect along with this methane molecule means alkane produces, since it's a gas it comes out. 
Now what is remain? This oxygen keeps the bond pair, I mean negative charge on itself and this magnesium Br, by the way, there will not be H. So MgBr will be there, okay, as a counter cation. Now, next time what you can expect, okay, so you may consider this is actually ethoxide addition of ketone and we know carbonyl addition is actually a reversible reaction. So you can expect, okay, it can push, it can leave. So in the second step, ETO minus is coming out. Consequently, what is remaining? The cyclopropanum, this ketone. Now this ketone, this carbon is delta positive. This is delta negative. And sometime before we have studied that this alpha carbon is actually more electron rich or better nucleophilic. So it will push and this carbon atom will attack. They are actually nucleophilic attack and it will open. So, because of this, a nucleophilic addition reaction will take place. Now, after opening up this pi bond, the negative charge goes to O minus, and this lithium plus remains closer to this O minus in order to maintain electron neutrality. Now, so this is the addition product, and in the next step, there is a H3O plus, means this is you can consider it is H plus. So, this H plus will be added to this O minus, and ultimately result this OH. So this is the overall discussion, okay? So this is the OH and there is the carbonyl. So this alpha position, this three member ring got attached. So now what is the major product in this case? So alpha position, three member ring, carbonyl alpha position, this is so option A is the right answer. Now if you get this question in your exam, how can you come up to the right answer in very less time? First of all, you need to understand, okay, there is OH, polar bond, okay. So that will react with this Grignard region and it will produce the alkane and this is O minus. So it will instantly produce the carbonyl because remember hemiacetal react with bases and it can undergo hydrolysis to corresponding carbonyl. So your reaction will start from cyclopropanone and second step is LDA, uh, sorry. The second step is actually nucleophilic addition with this enolate. Okay. And after that work up. So to get the final alcohol derivative. So from there you need to understand. Okay. This is enolate given. So nucleophilic addition will. Nucleophilic addition or nucleophilic attack from this alpha carbon. And this position will be a double bond. Where this is available. So option A and option D carbonyl exist. So option B and option C, you can see carbonyl group doesn't exist. By the way, I have given first step Grignard reagent, not in after that no reducing agent means this enolate, after the enolate no reducing agent. So how carbonyl group can go? So this option B and C, they are dummy option. You can eliminate. Now what is remaining option A or option B? The A and D. So now as I told, reactions will happen from this alpha position. So only these option is possible. So although if you do not know the right answer exactly by having proper guess, you can come up to this right answer less than 30 seconds. But for that purpose, more practice needed. So I believe you have understand. So this is the overall discussion. And if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy, then please help this channel to grow. And if anyone have any doubt regarding the logo of my channel, I request please read this part. Remember, I never support any kind of brutality. So this is the overall discussion. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.